courtesy of of why we're uh, making announcements and reading the scriptures and praying that you not use your cell phones and not you not not talk with each other because it, perhaps you're not interested in listening to the scriptures but maybe the person next to you is so out of courtesy we'll ask you to be uh, be quiet and what, what we'll do is uh, if it gets distracting from people talking then we'll just stop but then we'll wait longer before we can get on with what we are really here to do tonight it's to come with good food for you and to bring uh, other things that help you in managing your life Susanna Sue can you come over here <laughs> thanks Sue Susanna. <laughs> Sue, so, uh, got, got, we went to a doctor, a foot doctor on Monday, and he gave her permission to walk. But she has to be very careful because uh, she hasn't walked uh, for about eight weeks. So, so uh, now she's limping a little, but she, it's a very important to, for her to talk with each one of you, if possible, and greet you and make, uh, we want you to be welcome here. And we have uh, several announcements uh, to make to you tonight, so if you'll listen to them, I'll let Sue start with those announcements. <laughs> well, uh, I have two things. Um, we hear from the, the folks who take care of the clothes that um, some of, some people are taking a lot of the same size clothes and we have a, a number of people who need clothes so if you would just take one or two items you can go back after everyone else has a chance to be there and to see what they need and if their size is there so um, if you would be considerate of the other people who need to have things also and take just uh, one or two items and then go back later because if there's more there, you're welcome to take more then at that time. Um, we're so happy to have you here tonight. Beautiful weather. And um, I, I wanted to mention to you that we're having shepherd's pie tonight. And <laughs> glad, I hope you enjoy it. And, uh, and fruit in a little fruit cocktail in the cups. And there'll be uh, several, uh, we've got some hmm, lettuce salad uh, on the table back there at the desserts. So you can pick that up. We have ham and cheese sandwiches in the meal. And we have extra ham and cheese and uh, peanut butter and jelly. Um, also, uh, one more. We would like you folks to wait and don't leave right away as soon as we're done with this to go back to the clothes because there's such a rush to go back to the clothes. And if you would um, get your meals, were you going to talk to them about that? I'll let you talk the rest of it about that. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> One of the things we try to develop out here is where we as servants are very thoughtful of you. And all the effort that we put into it, it's a whole day to make this meal. And the, our effort is to honor you and to bring you the best food we can. And we have people who sort clothes during the week and those go into the trailer. We, there's a lot of investment of time. And uh, people do that, of course, on a voluntary basis because perhaps you don't know it, but we have 30 to 40 volunteers each Thursday that make this happen. And those volunteers, of course, go on vacations, there's other things, So, but our volunteer pool is about 40 people. And <clears throat> we talk to them all the time about being gracious and being kind and being thoughtful and ex treating you with uh, absolute dignity and care. Now, so I'm, asking, I'm asking you to treat the volunteers with dignity and respect also. 
And so, <clears throat> because some, most of us, most people, overcome evil with evil. So if someone treats you badly, you're like, they're, they're likely to have bad treatment in response. But the scriptures teach us to always overcome evil with good. And I won't tell you who it was, but one of our volunteers, a couple of years ago when we were talking about this, he said, I can't wait to go out on Thursdays, uh, Thursday and have someone treat me badly so that I can be good to him. And so we don't want that to happen, uh, but if you are unkind or aggressive yeah. or overbearing with the volunteers, our goal is for them always, no matter what happens, to be kind. Now, we not only want to model that, but we want to, when you model something, you hope that people will learn from your manner of life. And so we hope that you'll be kind and thoughtful of other people. We sometimes, um, Thursday night is like Black Friday. And you know what happens when they have Black Friday and the store opens, people really are aggressive to grab things for themselves. And I'd ask you to try not to do that, please, out of courtesy for the volunteers that come. Now, there's one other thing I want to ask you, uh, remind you about. You know what happens when the rain comes and we get water out in the field here. So if you are a volunteer or whoever you are tonight, I want to remind you that when we cook, when we put our vehicles out in that area, when it's wet, they sink in. And I've had to come out several times during the week with a shovel to try to fill the trenches that are made. And I'm too old for that. <laughs> and so anyway, I want, I'm asking volunteers and everybody to be very thoughtful of where you park. So I want you to sort of stay out of that area or if you're, if you're, uh, if you have your own vehicle and you park way out there, please be thoughtful because we're guests here. And so they've, they've entrusted us with the privilege of being here. And so we're, my, I sense a responsibility. I have a responsibility to take care of this place. And I need your help to be able to do that. So I don't want to burden you with a lot of things. We want you to have a wonderful time. We love being here and love having you. But, but I'm asking you to be thoughtful as you're here. So someone said to me, uh, that last week that before we finished praying there was a mad rush uh, to get things and I'm asking you to be cautious not to do that and be respectful of each other and so as Sue said if you get clothes or something if you take one item that you need that's wonderful but be thoughtful of other people now if it's necessary, I'll, I'll stop, we'll stop giving out clothes. If we, we need to treat people nicely. We'd love to bring them to you, but you have to help us to be able to do it in an orderly and a gracious manner. Yes? What did you ask? <laughs> if you were ready for me to read, I had forgotten I was gonna. <laughs> I, yeah, I asked you to read the scriptures like to ask you to follow tonight and I'm going to ask you when you read a section pause and not, we not we don't want to just read through the word of God but we want these are lessons for life from God's word so we're going to ask you to listen carefully to it as she reads it and follow in your uh, copy thank you Sue at the very center of salvation is the good news of how God has forgiven us through Jesus paying the penalty for our sins. Isaiah 59 says, Your iniquities have made a separation between you and your God. Your sins have hidden his face from you so that he does not hear. 
Our sin has broken our relationship with God, and that is why forgiveness is imperative. Ephesians 1, in Him, Jesus, we have redemption through His blood, the forgiveness of our sins. We cannot understand salvation without understanding forgiveness. God's forgiveness releases us from the penalty for sin. It is totally removed, a gift of grace. First Peter 3 says, For Christ also suffered once for sins, the righteous for the unrighteous, that he might bring us to God. Don't miss the insights this truth offers, and then apply them in your relationship your relationships with others. Ephesians 4, be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. Jeremiah 31, God declared, I will forgive their iniquity and will remember their sin no more. What did you read? I will forgive their iniquity and will remember their sin no more no more. This is a promise from God. He chooses not to remember. The application of this truth will transform your heart and your whole life. When you belong to God, His desire is for you to reflect His character in your way of life. When we hold a grudge, we are punishing people to make them pay before we can forgive them. But Jesus paid with his life so that we could be forgiven freely. Hi, Mom. So um, why don't you, um, after since you've read the scriptures and you understand them well, would you ask God's blessing now on the Word of God and on the food and of our and our fellowship, our relationship together? Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for your love for us that you have given Jesus Christ to pay for our sinful, uh, for our sins, all of our sins, that we don't have to pay for those, that you've given us your grace in this. And I pray that you would help each one of us to learn from you to be gracious to others, to give forgiveness to others. We don't have to wait until they ask for it, but we can give it to them. Thank you that you have given us your love. And if we uh, apply that love in our lives, we will love those people, whether they have been unkind to us or done something wrong to us, but you will move in our hearts. We thank you for that, Lord. Thank you that you want us to be your children. I thank you now that we can all be together. Thank you for the provisions of clothes and food and personal items. We do thank you for all your love that you show in that way and the people who have given those things and those who are out here tonight to help and to help each one that's here. Give us a wonderful time of fellowship together, Lord, and guide and direct us and bless this food to the nourishment of each person's body. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen.